Guys, welcome into another video today. We're gonna be just going through all the Madden ratings. Um, I do have a couple videos that I plan to get up for this one, uh, but just the editing process is taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to. So we're just gonna actually um, be looking at the Madden ratings today. We're gonna be going through each position, just kind of reacting to you know who's there already, who we haven't really seen, and just kind of go from there. Um, I know there's a lot of topics and storylines going in with everybody's getting their ratings, so. Um, yeah, it just really depends on how we're going to look at it. I've seen the ratings. I haven't really reacted to them. I haven't really, like, I don't know exactly off the top of my head who's the best at everything. I know, like, the 99s and stuff, but um, haven't really paid too much attention. So, um, yeah, we're just going to go through. We're going to go by position by position. So let's filter it. Um, actually, no. How do we do this? How do we do this? I'm guessing it would be filtered. Yeah, here we go. Filters. Okay. So we're going to start off with not offensive line. We're going to go to quarterback, um, wherever that is. We're just going to go to the quarterback's. And let's see who is all there. So, do they have everyone there now? No, they do not. They just have the people that we know about already. Um, okay, so we have Patrick Mahomes, obviously, at a 99, 99 club. Well-deserved, obviously. Um, former MVP, Super Bowl MVP, champion, everything. Russell Wilson's the second highest at a 97. I also agree with that. Um, Russell Wilson's so underrated. He act, They act like he's not one of the best quarterbacks in the league every single year, and he, he deserves it with a 97 there. Um, Lamar Jackson, though, 94 overall. Um, he's got 96 speed, which is insane. Um, 96 acceleration and 95 awareness is huge too. Um, throw power, 97 for Mahomes, 92 for M Lamar is pretty cool. Um, 84 throw power for Drew Brees, who had a 93. Brady is at a 90. Rodgers at an 89. Matt Ryan, 87. Sean Watson, 86. Wentz at an 84. Dak at 84. Those are like, those are the top guys. So we'll talk about them for a second right now. Um, here's starting off. I think that. I think Dak right now should be a little bit higher than Wentz, and I know it's an unpopular opinion. Um, and Eagles fans, I, I I understand the hype for Wentz, I really do. But with Wentz's injuries, um, he really hasn't been able to progress back to where he looked like he was in the 2017 season, um, which was insane. Um, and since then, Dak has been playing very very well. He had a very good season last year as well. Um, so I I do think that Dak might have deserved like an 85 overall. Um, but, you know, it's not a big deal to me. I don't really care uh, too much about it. Deshaun Watson at an 86. I think he should be higher than Matt Ryan. Um, probably about an 88 would be good for me. I think that the 86 is a little bit disrespectful. Uh, Matt Ryan's good. Aaron Rodgers, I think, is you know could should be a 90. Um, but it's not too much of a big deal. Brady... 90 is good for him to start off with, just because you know we don't really know what he's gonna what he's gonna come out with in Tampa Bay, and then uh, Breeze at 93 is good. Um, Baker at a 78, I I think that's that's a little high for Baker. Um, he's probably be a 76, 75 comparatively, just because I I mean last year he had a very bad season, man. He just was not looking too good for me. Um, and if he's gonna be a 78, Kyler Murray, sh first of all, Kyler Murray should be an 82 at the least, at the very least. The disrespect to put him at, an, at a 77. Um, what is the stat? Awareness? Yeah, he's got 70 awareness. Is that what that says? 73 awareness? I mean, I just don't get it, man. I really don't get it. Um, you know, his speed looks good, but I, that's just so disrespectful to me, man. Um, I think that he definitely deserving of at least an 80 overall. I mean, his stats look good, so he's going to play well. But, like, it's so disrespectful for him to be a 77. Um, I think last year, I mean, the rookie ratings were so bad last year. That like comparatively, if Burrow is a seventy six, Kyler should be a high, a lot higher than that, um, easily higher than that. I don't know, man. And we already reacted to the rookie ratings, so we don't have to go into them. They haven't released any other ratings there, but yeah, I think the big storylines from the quarterback position, Kyler Murray needs to be up to like an eighty two. Um, I'll probably be making those changes when I come. Here's the thing: if you guys gotta realize, Madden ratings. This is what Madden thinks the ratings are. You can just go and change them. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to deal with what Madden does. You can lower and raise whoever you want. It's not really a big deal. So. I personally think that um, Kyler needs to be up in the 80s at least. Um, Baker's I, Baker would be fine if he was higher, but because Kyler's 77, I think Baker. I, I if I if you ask me who would you rather have Baker or Kyler Murray, I'd be taking Kyler Murray 100 percent of the time. So um, yeah, other than that, Deshaun should be up a little bit. Rogers should be in the 90s, but I, I like the ratings other than that. So not not too bad for the quarterback positions. Um, so let's take them off and let's go over for running backs. Let's see where they at halfbacks here. Um, I love how they they still do halfbacks, whatever. Um, so obviously at the top we have McCaffrey, 99, well deserved. Henry number two with a 93, with Zeke at a 92. Um, not really too many disagreements here. This is where I kind of this disagreement. Nick Chubb being over Dalvin Cook and Saquon Barkley is really weird. Um, Nick Chubb is an absolute beast. He's a great running back, but I don't know, man. I mean, they're saying personally. Here's the thing. I'm gonna be honest. 
I, I like Nick Chubb. I haven't watched so much Nick Chubb to where I'm like, man, I know exactly how this guy plays. From what I've seen, he's for me, he's I, I've always seen him as like a power back kind of, like a, a speedy power back. So for him to have the same speed as Saquon Barkley, it just seems insane. I mean, first off, what? why are running backs capped off at 92 speed? Like, are we saying Jonathan Taylor is the fastest running back in, in the NFL right now? Out of these top guys, like who's the fastest? John the Taylor's the fastest running back in the NFL with a 93. But then you go back over to the quarterbacks. Like let's just add them real quick, and we're gonna say that Lamar Jackson. Hold up, let's. How do I? This whole website is very weird. Um, okay, apply. We're gonna say Lamar Jackson has 96 speed. That he's faster than every single running back in the NFL by three points. I just think running back should have more than 92 speed, especially because, I mean, I know acceleration has a lot to do with it too, but, like, man, that's just weird, man. It's just so weird. Um, so let's say quarterbacks back off. Eckler, 85. I'm not really mad about that. That's not bad. But the Saquon one is very low. I get he was injured, so I understand it. Dalvin Cook, though, he played out of his mind. He definitely should be above Chubb. I think Chubb should be a 90. You know, 90 is not bad for him, you know, being basically a second-year um, running back. Obviously, he played his first year, I'm saying, but he, you know, second full year as a running back. Um, yeah, I just, I, 92 saying he's the fourth best running back in the league at this moment in time just isn't, it doesn't seem like that's right for me. I know he's a great running back. I think a 90 would have been good for him. Um, even Kamara, I know he was hurt, but 88. Josh Jacobs in 88, that's very low for him, too. It's like Melvin Gordon in 84. It's, I just don't know, man. I, some of these ratings, it's like, I know they do it because, one, storylines, and two, just because, I don't even know, they have favorites, but, yeah, it, it, some of these are just very, like, poorly. Here's my thing for ratings. Who do you think is the, the, the top five running backs? Okay, McCaffrey, Henry, Zeke, Saquon, Dalvin Cook, right? Bam, that should be your top five. So how does Chubb get in there, right? Okay, maybe you, maybe you think Chubb's in there and, and Dalvin Cook's now. Okay, then why isn't Saquon Barkley above him? It's just it's just those things, you know. What's your order? Oh, you have McCaffrey, then Saquon. If you have McCaffrey, then Saquon, then Zeke, then Henry, then Cook. Okay, then it should be McCaffrey, then Henry or Saquon, then Zeke, then Henry, then Cook. It should it should be in that order. It's just I have a I have trouble saying that the cons, thinking that the consensus of people that are working on Madden think that Nick Chubb is better than Dalvin Cook and Saquon Barkley and they would take him over them too. I just don't think that's possible. Um, I think it's more or less Madden always picking favorites. I mean, they've been trying to buff the Browns team as good as they could the past couple years because of the hype around them. Um, I know as a Giants fan, Giants ratings are always low, so I'm not surprised by the Saquon Barkley rating. Um, but, yeah, halfbacks, they could have worked on. Um, so let's go over to the receivers. They actually just released today, so hopefully they're on the website. Um, let's see here. They are not, so they don't even have the, the guys on the website yet. Um, let's see. We can just pull it up real quick. Madden receivers. All right, and I spelled receivers wrong, but it's okay. Uh, we can just go to images because it was up there. Um, all right, well never mind. They don't want to have an image for it. Cool. So top ten receivers in Madden twenty one. Michael Thomas is number one. I know that. So we have Michael Thomas at ninety nine. DeAndre at ninety eight. Julio at ninety seven. Tyreek at ninety six. Devontae Adams at ninety four. Amari Cooper at ninety three. Diggs and Evans holding down at 92, and then Odell and Keenan Allen at a 91. Um, nothing really too out of the ordinary for me. Um, Odell probably could have been a couple points lower. Um, I think a guy like Thielen probably should have made it over him, personally. Um, other than that, though, I, I, I kind of I kind of agree with pretty much all the ratings. I think that they did – actually, this is probably their best ratings um, for their receivers. Is I, I think this one's pretty spot on. Um, nothing really I disagree with I internally, so – I'm not really mad about that one. So let's take the receivers off and let's go over to the tight end position. They just released those not too long ago either. Maybe they're going to be on here. Yeah, they're not going to be on here either. So we're going to have to Google that one as well. Man, don't you love Madden, man? Fix Madden franchise. Um, it's just this is. I'm not even going to edit any of this out. I'm just going to. I'm just going to run it all because why not? Um, I know Gronk got a pretty good rating. I mean, I'm expecting it. He, he, here's the thing. Yes, he is not the best. Um, but he is Gronk, so, or, like, he, he took a year off, right? I get it, you know? I, I do get it, but this is just the same website, huh? All right, well, I might not be able to find it. I know it's on Twitter, but, uh, Madden 21 Titans. 
Yeah, they don't want to show it. So I, I don't have a list with me. I know that Gronk was like a 95 or something. I'm not even going to fight for it. This is, I don't know, Madden, Madden. So, dude, update the website. You release rating, put, put the website on. All right. Um, so let's go down. Was it D-line? Um, so let's do defensive tackle, defensive ends. Oh, we have to do left and right. Nice. All right. So everyone on the defensive line. Let's see who's the best on here. So we have Aaron Donald in the 99, J.J. Watt in the 98. Those are always going to be the same. Um, one thing I did disagree with here, Cameron Jordan being a 96. I, I like Cameron Jordan, but he's a lot higher. They don't even have Chandler Jones. Oh, because he's an outside linebacker. Oh, I forgot to add those guys too. I hate how they they just need to fix it. Make it an edge position. Defensive line and edge position. It makes everything easier for everybody. Um, okay, did they not, did I not apply it? Outside linebackers. Wow, so they don't even have outside linebackers. So, I, okay, I'm just going to go. So, Khalil Max just rating isn't on here anymore. It's all good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is pretty sad. Um, just because this is the official Madden ra ratings website, and they can't even fix that. I mean, yeah, but other than that, uh, nothing really too. I think that they kind of gave some weird ratings for Clay's Campbell. A lot of a lot of finesse moves, and he's more of a power rusher. But, it's I mean, it's, it's whatever. Other than that, I, I don't really think anything is wrong here. Um, I saw that Chandler Jones like a 95. I think he should be over Cameron Jordan. I think like, Chandler Jones is right behind like Donald Mack. It's like, one of the premier edge rushers in the league. Um, so let's just reset the filters and then go over to corners, probably our next position. Um, we can just do the safeties while we're at it too. Why not? Let's just get the secondary out of the way and let's get out of here because obviously this is not a perfect video. Uh, but if you guys are enjoying or you guys like me reacting to these, um, leave a like on it. It does help me out a bunch. And subscribe if you are new. Um, obviously, this is kind of lower tier quality content right now, but um, like I said, I I'm trying to get those other ones out. It's just the editing is taking a lot longer, but we have Gilmore, the top secondary player in 99, 100% deserved. People are saying that's not deserved are ridiculous. I mean, this guy is an absolute shutdown corner. He's one of the best corners in football um, at the least, so I, th I think he's the best corner in football. I don't think it's even a debate. Crazy that the Bills ever let him go, um, but he's had a home on the Patriots. He's been a beast since then. Harrison Smith, though, at the top set, strong safety, never really going to change until he retires. He always plays consistently well. Ramsey at 94 surprised me a little bit because he didn't have that good of a year last year, obviously getting moved. But, um, yeah, man, he just – I don't know. I, I, I personally didn't see him as the second-best corner in the league. Um, but we'll, we'll go on later. Tyron Matthew, 93. Had a resurgence to his career last year. Don't really disagree with that. Um, McCordy is always going to be a, a very good player. He's going to regress as, like, hell. He's going to be, like, 85 after your first year in franchise. But, you know, it's whatever. Jamal Adams definitely should be higher. Um, I think the injury held him back. It seems like players that get injured, they hold back pretty freaking hard. I mean, other than Gronk, because Gronk took a year off, and they're just like, ah, 95. But, you know, like, Saquon Barkley got hurt. Um, Jamal Adams got hurt. Uh, what was the other one we were thinking of before I mean, Thielen. Thielen got hurt. He's not even on the top 10. I mean, they, they definitely hold back people that get hurt, hurt as if that's going to, like, change their ability completely. Um, even when they come back and pre perform. I mean, Jamal, Jamal Adams had a good second half of the season. Saquon had a good second half of the season. Um, so, I don't know. I, I think it's a little disrespectful that they do that. Um, Richard Sherman at 92. They got to keep him up high. His speed's never going to be there, but he still plays very well when he's on the field. He just gets burned, which is unfortunate, which you can still do in this game. Um, Kevin Byer, 91, cool. Jair Alexander, 90. I agree with that. Him and Trey White are right there. I'm so happy Justin Simmons got 90. I'm so happy. Well-deserved. Simmons is one of the best safeties. So underrated. Um, then we got Casey Hayward and German James, 89. I'm not mad about it. Eddie Jackson, 89. Not mad about it. Humphrey, 89. Byron Jones, 88 with Slay. I think Jones deserved to get up to a 90, man. I really did. Um, I think he has the same rating he did last year. I don't even think it changed it. Um, Earl Thomas, Micah Hyde, and Patrick Peterson are all here as well. And I think that's all the ratings. Maybe there's a couple more. Yeah, no, that's all the ratings. Other than that, we have the rookies. Um, CJ Henderson, Okuda holding down 76s, which I'm not mad about. 73 for Jalen Johnson. That's pretty high for Jalen Johnson. Um, glad he had a 71. Here's the thing, man. I This is what makes me so... I, I don't want to say ticked off, but just like... It rubs me the wrong way. Is that Madden decides where people should have been drafted. If that makes sense to you. Um... They think Jalen Johnson is the third best rookie corner. And, you know, I don't think he's a bad corner. I really do like Jalen Johnson. But when a guy goes, you know, 16th overall or when he goes 15th overall or when he goes in the first round, late in the first round, 25th, or same thing with the these – these next guys after Jalen Johnson are all first-round picks. And yet they are all lower than a guy picked late second round in Jalen Johnson by two overall points at the least, most of them by three, um, which is just crazy to me. I think that's just, I, I don't know, I, I, that always makes me pissed off because it's like, 
It's like, dude, it happened last year with Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones was ranked lower than Tyree Jackson. Tyree Jackson went undrafted. It's like, dude, just because Daniel Jones got some hate during the draft for being number six overall, like, doesn't mean he's a freaking. I think it was like a sixty-two at launch. It was, it was so bad. It was so bad. He was, he was lower than Will Greer. He was lower than everybody. It's like, keep personal opinions out of it, man. It's a, you're a video game. Just go based off of that. So, um, yeah. So I mean, the ratings. Do I hate them? Do I love them? I'm never gonna really like them. Um, just because I think that they do a lot wrong with it because they're very much, you know, there's biases and they, they want, here's the thing you got to realize in order for the teams, the team overalls to be what they are, they need the player overalls to match that. So, you know, Saquon Barkley might be a little bit higher, but he, they really want the Giants to be a crappy team in Madden. So they're going to lower his overall. Daniel Jones probably gonna come out with like a 71 or something like that. If that, um, even though he had a good rookie season. So it, it it's it's hard to judge Madden ratings because they they're trying to base the team ratings on around the players. So I don't know, man. Um, let me know what you guys think about the ratings in the comment section below. Which one did make you the mad, uh, the most mad? Was it you know Eagles fans? I know you're very passionate about Wentz. Should he? Do you think he deserves to be a little bit higher? Um, what else? We had Chandler Jones isn't even on here, but like should he deserve to be higher? Um, receiving quarterbacks, Aaron Rodgers. I mean, running back Saquon Barkley. There's a lot of guys that could, that could be moved. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Again, I know this is a very like low quality video, um, just kind of me reacting. But um, be sure on the lookout for the next few videos. So I do have a mock draft coming out that I need to edit, um, where I did a live mock draft with just random people and kind of saw where I went. I think I had the one spot. So definitely want to look out for that if you're in fantasy football. Um, and then I did a NBA redraft. We redrafted. I think the 2009 draft. I did that with my friend Zach. Um, we talked for a while, so I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing for that one. But yeah, I think I have those two videos to come coming up soon. So hopefully those get out um, very soon. Hopefully by the weekend. Um, I just need to get through the editing with those. But you know, hopefully you guys do enjoy this video in the time being, because I know it's been a couple of days since I've uploaded. Um, if you guys do enjoy the content, if you do do love M NBA NFL content, please be sure to stick around. The bubble's coming up soon for the NBA, so I'm gonna be able to talk about that. Um, NFL is obviously getting closer and closer to things, so I I'm gonna be able to talk about those as well. So if you guys do enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like, as it does help me out a bunch. If you didn't, just refresh the page, check it out again. Let me know what you think a second time. Without further ado, that's gonna be for me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.